So, Feedback Burger now on stage, please. Okay, here we are, finally. So let's pick up the pace. Um, we are Feedback Burger, and um, as I mentioned, we are already online. So, um, yeah, let's get to the beef. Feedback Burger is about feedback, not burgers, first of all. Um, the problem with feedback is um, that feedback often is not honest. The reason for that is it's really difficult to um, give honest feedback face to face. We want to solve that by offering a um, platform in an anonymous way. So, second problem with feedback is um, that it's often unstructured and more negatively related, um, and no uh, ideas for improvement are given. The reason for that is. Um, people don't know how to give proper feedback. We will um, address this problem in providing a tool which gives you a structured feedback um, right away and um, it gives a clear indication what to do to improve. And um, to share some knowledge with you, um, on the bottom you'll find um, the way to give how a proper feedback. So this is the Feedback Burger, it's a uh, sophisticated um, feedback approach. You start with a, a positive feedback in the beginning, the bun, then it gets to the beef, the real critics, the feedback you want to get something out of it, and then you end with a positive um, bun in the end. Um, so the people, is, uh, the people are able to work with the project, uh, with the feedback and improve. So um, for today, um, this is our pitch burger. Um, for people like us, who are in a situation to pitch, um, they can basically select a preferred peer group, um, create a modified burger for the peer group, and then um, create a survey, get out to the people, and get the feedback for the pitch. So, referring to the model, um, you have a... And we force view um, that the feedback comes in a structured way so that um, it's valuable for the, for the customers in the end. So with a positive in the beginning, the meat in the middle, and yeah, in the ending. That's exactly right. So who's our market? Our market is primarily individuals that are looking for honest feedback in a professional environment. And um, also, it's practitioners that work in the same field. When we tested our concept with the market, we found that more than 80% of the people we talked to would actually be willing to use our application to get honest feedback on the way they present. And that's, that's the feel as well. When we asked our, um, our future uh, target customers, what would be the feel that you would most likely want to have feedback on? It's professional, it's professional, it's professional environment and presentations and um, pitches you have in this field. So most interestingly, when we asked our, um, our target clients, would you actually be willing to even pay for the service if you could not only get feedback from all your peers, but also from professional um, practitioners that work in the field? And we found that a whopping nearly 50% of the people we spoke to would actually pay for the service. And not only that, during the weekend, we also managed and already get um, real dollars for the service that we invented. So coming to the commercials, really quick, what are the areas that we get money from? Well, basically, we have our, um, our base application that is a peer-to-peer -peer free service. And from that, we build three revenue streams. First of all, we have the individuals that, as we've already um, found out with real dollars, will pay for, um, for professional feedback. Secondly, we build on that and approach companies to come up with um, custom-made feedback burgers that they could use for their employees and work based um, in, in presentations and meetings they hold. And thirdly, um, we'd also approach the practitioners in the field not only to provide feedback from our practitioner pool, but to use the software on a professional basis where they apply more than five times a month, then you roll on, on the um, professional scheme and you pay a license fee for that. Against that, we have two fields of costs we're looking at. First of all, it's marketing costs. That's the, that's the biggest block we're looking at. And secondly, 
it's for our um, sales force out in the field and we try and touch upon the, um, the second and third revenue stream. Thank you very much indeed. Maybe first question, um, how, how much did they pay? Was it a restaurant or was it an individual person or what was it the, your customers? Individual person. So this is the concept where you have a person um, hold the presentation and then get feedback from professionals that it was some individuals. Okay, how much did you pay? How much did they pay? That's the uh, euros each, three clients. Oh. Did you look into the market? There, there's on the one side SurveyMonkey, there's on the other side something like iFeedback or others. And have you thought about a certain industry vertical to go first? And we did a competitive. We did a competitor analysis, so we took a look at SurveyMonkey, which is probably the yes. huge competitor. Um, but um, we are different in the way that we return in structured feedback. So um, if you set up SurveyMonkey, it's always unstructured and not that constructive as our product. How do you make sure that you get ex experts to uh, to answer the questions? Where do you get the experts from? So um, we're going to set up um, an expert network in the background. So obviously, we don't have it yet. Okay. But how, how, do, how do you incentivize the people to give feedback, or to to register? How do you incentivize, you incentivize, it, yeah. incentivize or motivate the people? I mean, you have, you have a great um, great pool of um, of um, practitioners in the field, you know, in Germany, and they have the problem that they can't really. Um, uh, how do you get customers? Since there's so many of you. So um, they'd actually be willing to join our network to have um, a sort of a low fee um, touch point for your clients where could they could then um, um, recruit um, customers for their um, premium service hourly. Yeah, well, what kind of practitioners do you, do you target actually? What is yeah, d let's get to personal development like CV checks or something like that. So if you want a proper CV check, it's like a two hour um, analysis for 200 euro and there is no offer in the market yet for, let, let's say, a quick burger check for 10 to 15 euro. So CV check and, and business presentations at the yeah. core field. That's only to name two of the use cases. Yeah, we identified a couple of different ones as well. Okay. Can you explain the actual product a little better? Like, what makes a difference to SurveyMonkey? Like, what is, how structured is the feedback? Like, as an example of the CV, like, do so you return text or... What, how do you structure? So burger feedback um, is this coaching uh, methodology and we sort the answers of the questions or we force you as the person who is giving feedback to give it in a structured way. So peop the people who receive the feedback r can work with it and it's valuable to them. Okay, no more questions. Thank you very much. This was Team Feedback Burger.